Yo, what is going on guys, Nkooch here, and today we're going to be doing a Crucible Live commentary with a little bit of a twist on it. Really quickly before we get into the details, I want to give these guys a massive shout out for joining me at the tower and being such awesome MVPs and uh, entertainers right here while I'm about to go over to the new monarchy guys. So what this challenge is, is me wearing every single one of the new monarchy armor pieces and also new monarchy weapons. So right now I have the auto rifle, shotgun, and sidearm, but I kind of want to try getting a sniper or even a better primary because I use this thing and even though the perks are very, very good, I'll be completely honest, this thing is very, very bad. I was going negative some games with this thing and overall I'm just not a fan. So we have about three packages to open with the new monarchy guy and I'm really hoping for a better primary. Now what I'm gonna do is put on my Kvostov and hopefully the smart loot system will kick in. I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but just in case we're gonna try it out and hopefully I can get myself a better primary for this PVP challenge. All right, we're about to level up and let's take a look at what we get from the first package we got a cloak all right let's press our luck one more time i know i'm wasting heavy ammo since i should really be saving these for rise of iron but honestly we still have a little bit over a month to go uh, and i'm pretty confident that i can save up a lot of heavy ammo since and strange coins and all that kind of stuff so we're just going to waste all of them right here until we get a better primary so for the second package what do we get please be a primary we got another sidearm. One more go. This is the final package that we'll be able to open up. I really don't want to use this auto rifle, guys. I was playing with it yesterday, and it was absolutely embarrassing. One thing I also wanted to mention is that I'm still a little bit sick, so hopefully I don't sound weird. Um, I probably have bags under my eyes, and oh my god. I could have gone anything else as a primary, but instead I ended up getting the auto rifle. That's when you know the game is just absolutely trolling me. So we ended up getting another one of these. We're not gonna... Man, we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use this one. And I guess we're gonna stick with the shotgun. Because both of these are not very good. I was trying them out yesterday and I was just not a fan. So let's go ahead, say bye to these fine gentlemen. And uh, go to orbit and start this PvP challenge. But if you guys end up enjoying the rest of this video, definitely drop a like on the video as it supports my channel. And let's jump right into it. Alright, so we ended up getting Exodus Blue, which is honestly pretty good because it's a decent shotgun map. Uh, this is my first game on today though, so I might be a little bit rusty. If the shot is not where it's supposed to be, don't blame me. Oh god. I'm gonna jump around here and see if any, any of them get baited into my shoddy. Because this is honestly a pretty good strat. Like, just jumping around like this is actually such a good strat. There's two kills right there. That was, like, the easiest two-piece I've ever gotten. Okay, we ended up getting our Blade Dancer. Here is our opportunity. We got short-stopped once, but it looks like we're good to go. There is a second. There's a third. There's a fourth. He's just dancing with me, man. It's not fair. Don't give me those easy kills, bro. I gotta work for it. I'm just gonna wave back to him just to show him, you know. I care about him showing some love and dancing with me. I appreciate that. I just took their special ammo and dipped the hell out of there. That is how you make a play, ladies and gentlemen. Shut down the enemy special ammo at whatever cost. Even if you're about to die, it's always worth it. He's dead. That was some easy shots right there. There's a second one. Let's go in for the shot kill for the third if we can get it. Nope. Teammates cleaned him up. Good kills. I'm going to go in with a blade dancer. Let me see. There's one, two. Oh, come back here. This is the guy who was waving at me. He's waving. Oh. I want to stay alive. I want to stay alive. All right. Now I can wave at him. Show him some respect. Yo, we got a triple down with a shoddy. Oh my god. Dude, I feel like an actual person who knows how to use a shotgun. Even though I don't. I'm terrible with shoddies. We got a triple down, so that's that's not too bad. Wow, my shot is so much more accurate today. I was using this yesterday, and honestly, I was doing a live comm 
with this exact same setup and for some reason I could not do well for the life of me so I'm super happy that we're doing all right right now okay we have a blade dancer so I'm gonna go ahead and try popping this right here there's one there's two there's three four let's go okay He's trying to shotgun warrior me. Come on, bro. Oh, dude. On my screen, I was behind the thing. I was behind this uh, structure right in front of me. Wow. I'm surprised he got the kill on me. But regardless, that is GG's. We ended up getting some legendary marks for that as well. Finished with 6.7k score. That was a great game for using an auto rifle and shotgun. I'm super happy with that because like I said earlier uh, in the day yesterday, I was trying this exact challenge with this auto rifle and sidearm and I was getting the absolute dick, not gonna lie. So let's go ahead and take a look at the score. 29 kills with a 4.1 KD. Now that is what I'm talking about. Hopefully I'll be able to break 30 kills in the next few games. So let's try. I am on a beautiful map, but I kind of wish that I had a weapon that's more long range because the auto rifle and shotgun are both pretty close quarters, I would say. So we'll see how this how this ends up for us, but I don't know. It's going to be tough. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to have to pick my engagements very, very intelligently. There's one kill. No idea where that nade even hit me from, but one kill on the board. That's all that matters, right? There's another on the board. Dude, that guy got juked the hell out. That guy is in such a good position compared to me. How is he not dead yet? He's still not dead. Oh, he almost stuck me. That would have been an absolute disaster. Let's go. We outgunned him with a terrible auto rifle. Damn, that nade actually hit me. I gotta back up. Four seconds, still special ammo. Let me pick this up. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and pop my blade. See if I can put in some work with that. I'm just going to use this blade to run away because there is a blade right behind me on my ass somewhere. Alright, if you guys have made it this far in the video, I want you guys to comment down below what your worst map out of all the Taken King maps are. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to say Cathedral of Dust, but let's not include that one because it's so shitty. Uh, what is your least favorite map? Is it this one? Is it Vertigo? Like, you know, there's Sector 618. That's a really shitty map too. I mean... I don't know. Let me know. What's your least favorite map in the comments down below? We're going to use this blade in a second here. Hopefully, we'll be able to make some sort of play. We got our health back on him. No, don't run my kill. Oh my god. And he's using a thorn. Disgusts me, bro. <laughs> he's getting ready for year three already, man. Damn, landing all my shots and I'm still almost dying. Don't quick scope me. Did he just hit marker me or was that somebody else? Because if he hit markered me, that was really, really impressive. And that is GG's. All right. And we got headshotted. So 4,400 score. I honestly don't think that was anywhere near 30 kills. But let's take a look at how we did for the final game on one of my least favorite maps. 23 kills with a 2KD. I mean, at least we got you know double positive kd i'm pretty cool with that uh, let me back out one more time and show you exactly what weapon you should never buy from new monarchy that is the auto rifle that i have right now um bungo load please i hate these long loading times man makes these live commentaries awkward it's like what do i talk about right now but auto rifle right here the righteous don't buy it perfect balance counterbalance reinforced barrel solid perks 
but a bad weapon. And then the shotgun that I was using, in case any of you guys were wondering, it was Burden of Proof with Rangefinder, Rifled Barrel, and Final Round. Pretty good shotgun. I was actually very surprised with this thing because usually uh, fast rate of fire shotguns aren't very good, but this thing is an A plus in my opinion. It did the job and uh, you know, I got a ton of kills with this thing. So here's all the armor that I was using just in case you guys are wondering. And that is the new Monarchy Challenge. If you guys want to see maybe possibly other factions in the future, like a Dead Orbit Challenge, maybe a future Workout Challenge, let me know in the comments down below. And thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate the continuous support. Have a great day, and I'll see you all later. Peace.